Hey guys, so I'm back and I hope everyone's still doing fine and I'm doing okay too and now that the lockdown has extended I don't know what to say or do about it and I'm sure no one does but anyway I have made a new video and it's kind of serious this time so it's on a very sensitive topic and I've tried to curate in a way that tells you a normal day in a person's life who's dealing with depression so whoever out there has been through it or has seen someone been through it or going through it will probably relate and understand and I just want to tell you all that just be there for one another help each other in whatever manner possible because guys mental health is really really important and just just be kind to everyone and i hope you will like the video depression a feeling kicks in without telling its identity a heartbreak a job that you lost or about that someone who went far off the sun rises and falls you ought to get out of your bed but you can't even crawl quiet is it or are you screaming within heavy eyes throbbing pain in your head and still you stay awake in your bed you want to eat but you can't for it doesn't anymore give your dopamine a rush or a happy grunt when a paper and a pencil can understand your thoughts and that devil you drew tightens your hurting knots an ocean of malicious thoughts that you're diving in deep without any oxygen in your lungs to keep the sweat bubbles and your clenched jaw, hands shaking, knowing there's no escaping. You suffocate and it starts dancing on you, controlling all your senses and making you its apprentice. There are days when it leaves you breathless, stuck in your neck like some prisoner's iron band necklace, chokes you every now and then, leaving you in a horrendous airy den. Living in the darkness with an echo coming from your mind, screaming repeatedly that I'm fine and it's just the matter of time. Becoming an alcoholic looks like a way out, numbing your pain amidst the crowd. And then you start doing it alone, for you just want a free flow. And in that moment, you let your pain go. That strength you feel when you're numb, but you're still a mess. And everyone around you are still blind, dumb, and deaf. You see yourself staring at the walls, calling your name, sounding like someone who cares. But then you know it's your loneliness, a battle that can't be won. And it makes you run and pan and climb the mountain at the point of a gun. You fall there. Sobbing, helpless and broken, you hug tightly, trying to hold on. Before your gut slips away, there are no colors and everything is gray. When your brain harasses you, bruises you, burns you and makes you cry, takes you to a point where you don't even want to try, thinking about how you could just die. Is the answer a goodbye? You get suicidal thoughts. Putting an end to your life looks like the last resort. You find yourself a weapon or a way and you see that blood dripping down your skin, invisible to the eyes. And yet you feel the color of it so, so bright where you're going through a noxious plight. You agonize, scream and yelp. You look around and yet there's no one who can help. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you really understood and liked the video. So first and foremost, I would really like to apologize if at all I hurt someone unintentionally. I did not mean to offend or disrespect anyone, but if at all I did, I'm really, really sorry. I was just trying to give out signs of depression and I'm sure I was nowhere close to it because only a person who's going through it can understand the real pain and storm inside. But whoever out there is facing any of these signs just do not stay quiet please do not take your mental health lightly it's no joke reach out to your friends your family your loved ones a therapist or a doctor for that matter also do not take any extreme measures or decisions that might hurt you or your loved ones and if you feel that there's no one who will understand you please try taking different measures try meditating try doing breathing exercises every day 
try uh, doing something that you were or are really passionate about. I know it's way easier said than done, but you've got only one life and you have to fight for it. Also, please do not take any drugs or medications that are not prescribed to you by a healthcare professional for your issue because they can really mess up with your head real bad. And you can always reach out to me as a healthcare professional or as a human first. I am always there and I would request everyone out there to be there for one another, especially during this quarantine because people are facing a lot of issues. Also, you know what, guys? You only live once. YOLO. So please take care of yourself and stay healthy. Ta-da!